Over the years I have somehow collected, by that I mean I bought a bunch of SanDisk USB flash drives, which I have talked about previously in separate videos. So today I thought I'll combine them all and do a group comparison to see how they stack up against each other. Why does SanDisk make so many different versions? What's the difference and which one should you buy? So let's get into it. I'll be comparing the Cruiser Fit, the Cruiser Edge and the Cruiser Blade against each other, which are all USB 2.0 devices as well as the Ultra, which is the only USB 3 drive in this test. I'm curious to see if the Ultra will make a huge difference, but we'll get to that shortly. Physically, they are quite different. The Cruiser Fit is absolutely tiny, weighing in at around one gram. The Cruiser Edge has a retractable USB port, which might be important if you travel a lot. The Cruiser Blade, on the other hand, has its port exposed, but it does come in various different colors. And finally, the Ultra is the largest with the aforementioned USB 3 port and a flashy LED on top. It's also the only one available up to 512 gigs at the moment. What they all have in common is this little hole that allows you to hook it up to a key ring or something to avoid losing it, especially with the Cruiser Fit, since it's so tiny. With that out of the way, let's look at the benchmark results, starting with a synthetic test. One thing that's immediately clear is that the Ultra is a lot faster. Whereas the write speed might not be that much quicker compared to the rest, but the read speed is leaps and bounds ahead. There isn't a huge difference between the USB 2 tests, but what's interesting is that the Cruiser Blade is somehow the slowest in terms of write speed, but at the same time, the read speed is the fastest amongst the USB 2 group. Very strange. I then ran a real world test by copying a one gig file from the internal SSD on my MacBook Pro via the USB 3 port to the drives and back to see how well they performed. To my surprise, they all performed relatively close to the synthetic benchmark test, whereas the Cruiser Blade again managed to eke out just some more read speed at 41 megabytes a second. The Ultra also had a slight write speed improvement, but the read speed has dropped a little in comparison, but there's no denying that the Ultra still beats the other USB 2 devices. So what can we take away from all this? The Ultra is the clear winner for speed if that's all you want. Go ahead and buy it, link in the description down below if you are interested. However, sometimes there might be other reasons why you might want to choose the other slower devices. For example, as I have mentioned in my Cruiser Fit video, I needed a tiny little USB drive to fit behind the TV at our workplace where there's not enough clearance for a large stick pointing out, poking out the back. Or you can just leave it plugged into your laptop, for example, for the extra storage space without having to disconnect it each time. So that's quite convenient. So although it's slower, the Cruiser Fit is so tiny, you can just leave it plugged in. Another example might be perhaps you know you're using it on a device that doesn't support USB 3.0, but given that the Ultra is almost the same price as the other ones, in some cases even cheaper, it's kind of hard not to recommend. Besides, USB 3 is backwards compatible anyway, I think. So here's my final thought. I'd say get the Ultra for speed, the Cruiser fit for the small form factor, ignore the edge, and go for the Cruiser Blade if you want some color options, but don't mind the slightly slower speed. But it was the fastest read speed winner within the USB 2 category in today's tests. It's also the best deal if you go for the three pack option. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful in some way. Thank you very much for watching as always. My name is Joe and I'll see you in the next one.